Hey guys, my name is Zeniak and welcome back to the episode of Flying Corp where last episode guys we unlocked more countries last episode than we've ever done in a single episode ever. We've done all of, well I say all of, we unlocked a bunch of countries in the Middle East right now. Pretty much to make these kind of um, direct routes which then kind of, um, kind of spur, burst out into all the other smaller cities around it. On the uh, east side of Africa, no, east side? What am I talking about? The east side's over here. The west side of Africa right now we kind of got un un underway. And that's because we turned the Caribbean into a sweet little hub right now of transferring people from Atlanta to get over here so we could try and reduce the amount of flights and planes taking uh, the cross transatlantic route from the east side of America to currently Europe right now. Now I want to continue these expansions but we got to be a little bit careful because what we discovered previously if you go too crazy too early on and don't sort out the groundwork it's gonna get a little bit tasty that's all i can say right now it's gonna get a little bit tasty do i not have any flights coming from here we do but we chose abu dhabi to be the kind of the main hub didn't we yes yes we did now as we continue the expansions today guys i just want to say if you are enjoying the episode and the series i want to see more of this then please make sure you smash that like button down below if you're new around here then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out now we have to decide what our next move is going to be i can continue to finish up the remainder of europe but then i still think to myself no matter what i do where i take this we are going to have so much demand going from the usa directly over into europe right now so it's a tough one on where to begin on where to start like this plane here has already got so many people on board and i can't upgrade it or add any more planes currently to the line and it's only that one plane it's not really kind of um you know doing this in too much but is it maybe an idea to bring another line over maybe we went from atlanta to lisbon atlanta to madrid Oh, it's a tough one. But we got another kind of a setup right now going straight into Berlin. So we get this up and running anyway. And I think, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, it's a tough one, isn't it? I think I might. Oh, I don't want to do the South of America. Should we just bite the bullet and do the remainder of Europe? I think we need to. And then we'll slowly progress somewhere else. I just haven't decided just yet. I'm so... Ooh, employees of the aircraft manufacturer went on strike. Prices for new planes and upgrades are twice as high for this week. Yikes. I'm so kind of scared to do something or set something up in case I make the wrong decision. But we're going to use Kiev right now in Ukraine as being a little bit of a hub on this side of Europe right now. So I bring everything over to it. There we go. And then what we'll do, we'll use the Berlin to Kiev route as being the main city, well, main capital to capital, basically. So buy enough planes on that. Once they get a little bit closer, we'll slowly start upgrading all of them. Then uh, Akara here will bring up to Kiev. This will be the other um, little kind of connection between the two major cities. And I'll also take it from Rome as well. So you can see then if I bring all these Eastern European countries to Kiev... Then Kiev has some decent routes to capital cities to kind of skedaddle out of here. I could do over to Copenhagen, but they're going straight to Berlin anyway. So that will kind of do the, the business for me. So if I take care of all the groundwork first then, and that being that I get all the initial airplanes. Oh, I'm out of money. Uh, upgraded. I forgot. Everything's twice the price, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. Why did I do it? literally popped up and then I still read it understood that everything was going to be double the price and i then still chose to ignore the message gg seniac you are a genius so slowly upgrade this i need 1600 right now i'm gonna do it anyway because it's gonna get overloaded kiev is gonna to, needs to be upgraded too so upgrade you get to 800 bam upgrade you good stuff new airport underway or new city getting connected right now so we've got to do some upgrades over here then. So get this plane slowly underway. Get to 1600. I'm waiting for that to hurry up and disappear right now. It's still got over two and a half minutes for the expenses. Right, okay. We'll at least get one plane going back and forth on these three major routes. 
uh, fully upgraded. At least you can then take the bulk of the people coming in and out. Right, come on. We need to upgrade. Boom. There we go. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Uh, Istanbul's probably seen better days, but when I start getting all these other countries, there'll be like smaller little connection routes set up anyway. Um, do we have... We had the little outskirt route going so much through this area. I think... Um, oh, oh, oh. We got another one. Get you connected. Um, Istanbul to here. Uh, government grant upgraded flight. Ooh. Ooh, the airport level increased for free. Antalya and Aleppo, because Aleppo is connected to a couple of different variation routes. That'll take a little bit of the edge off. Kind of going to Ankara right now. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully he says. Uh, right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So every so often, we'll have to kind of go along and upgrade the planes in this region. Even though some other planes are just being bulked up anyway. But this is manageable on the eastern side. I thought it would be a lot worse. So, look at 12,000 to unlock the next country of Moldova. That's expensive, isn't it? Right, next place unlocked. Kiev! Get you fully loaded right now. And how are we doing over here then? So, it's a long journey straight down to uh, Abu Dhabi right now. Straight from Rome. So, I feel like we might need to get some like Libya or Egypt up as well to kind of create, you know, a couple of pit stops and whatnot. But we slowly got this. We're kind of in that money battling mode right now where unlocking more and more countries is slowly becoming more and more expensive. So, again, we'll unlock Moldova next and get you connected to Kiev. And in Romania, 13,000. Hot damn. So, I'm trying to get that first plane. Just upgrade you. So, I won't go fully upgrading all the planes just yet. We'll kind of do it on a base by or a case by case basis. If that's the best way to put it. It might be. So, all flights to Ukraine have been cancelled due to a red, uh, bright winged pigeon. Do you mean a parrot? <laughs> I will be concentrated 402, but all flights have been cancelled for the next five countries being blocked. Oh, this place has been blocked. Um, I get it connected anyway. Wasn't it already connected? I think it was. But that's not good, is it? That's, that's terrible news. That is terrible news for us, straight out of the bat. Oh my goodness me. Right, I want to get Romania connected next. Now, I think Romania will be a way to kind of connect a few flights going in different directions. Because Istanbul keeps getting overloaded. Yeah, I could upgrade the airport, which is probably the better thing to do. But, um, yeah. Oh, oh, wrong way, wrong way. Odessa right now. Get you connected. There we go. Riga's feeling the heat up here, aren't they? Right. Nice little upgrade. Minx. Yeah, I think we got this. So, Romania, unlock your boy. Right, oh, only 1,300. Right, we'll get you connected there. I'll get you directed to Rome for two Gs. There we go. Will you get you connected to Ankira? Yeah, I'll do that as well. I'll get Istanbul connected. Oh, another one. Only 1,300. Come on, boys, come on. There we go. I've got to do like a little ring route. Oh, there's a serious problem with baggage in Kiev. I'll like spend the money. Get the upgrades on the go. In a little bit of debt, but we should be able to get past this. The court decided we have to pay. What is going on in Kiev right now? Oh my goodness me. I'm in debt. I'm in debt to my eyeballs, boys. I'm in debt to my eyeballs right now. This ain't good. This is shocking, mate. And Romania is now becoming so overloaded. I can't even upgrade it right now. Don't you start bringing more people over here. Right, yes, I know I gotta, I gotta sort this out immediately, but I've got no cash. <laughs> I've got no cash, I'm poor. I'm poor, I tell thee. I am so poor right now. That's gonna bring another plane over, which is gonna now overload me completely. I just need 200 big ones. Bam, I upgraded it. All right, there we go. We gotta upgrade the planes. Oh my goodness me. But before I do that, we'll get Budapest to Bucharest uh, connected. And uh, there we go. <clears throat> Did we get a... Was there another... 
Yeah, I'm about to say, there was another airport. Well, we'll get you connected to Abu Dhabi or to here. We'll get you connected to there. Why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, upgrade you again. So a couple of airports right now are going to be overloaded because they were not designed to have the majority of planes flying this route. Upgrade that plane a bit. Upgrade that plane a bit. And a new airport has opened up. So straight to Ankira. There we go. There's quite a lot in Turkey, isn't there? There is quite a lot. That plane there needs to be uh, upgraded. I don't... Oh, hold on. You need to be fully upgraded. Right, where's where this happening? Right, you. Upgrade. There was something to do with Washington, D.C. as well, wasn't there? I'm not quite sure what was wrong with Washington, D.C. Are you okay over here? I'm hoping you are. I'm hoping you are. Um, a couple of red planes coming here, there, and everywhere. I think it might be a good idea. Got a couple more planes on that route. On that route. On that route. On that route. Just have more going on in general. Another airport in Turkey. Holy smokes. How many people they got holding here right now? So, it will be a red a few of these planes until we clear more of the backlog. Upgrade you a bit. That plane there I want to upgrade. There we go. And then these planes here. Upgrade you. Oh, are we ready to move on to another country yet? <laughs> I'm kind of scared to do so. That plane there. Upgrade a little bit. Right, there we go. Oh no, another airport is over. No, wait, 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 wait. Whoa! Airport overload penalty. Where are you? Was it you, Freetown? I'll upgrade you in it. It's all happening now, guys. It's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. <laughs> right, we sorted out Freetown. City traffic increased. Oh, my goodness me. We're going to see even more overloads right now. Right, I feel like all of a sudden, it's all going against me. That's what I feel like right now. It's all legit going against me. So, we're going to calm it down. We gotta breathe. We uh, I've got uh, another four minutes of this happening right now, so I think it's a case of I don't don't go too crazy on spending the buddies because I might need it to kind of sort out a few bits and bobs here and there. And that looks very um, yellow, doesn't it? All right, upgrade you straight to Berlin. Um, I'm seeing a lot more red planes flying around right now. A lot more red planes. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's bad. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's definitely bad. Uh, how many planes on this journey? Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. This is... Bamako is going to be overloaded. Right, upgrade you. I'm sorry, Bamako. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, what have I done? It's this city traffic boom. They're, uh, they're overloading me, boys. They want to go to Freetown right now. Oh, okay. You want to go to Freetown? Oh, it's because Freetown's got the... what's It's because of what's going on in Freetown right now. That's literally what it's all down to. Um, that's why the traffic is ridiculous. So, eventually... Oh, we get compensated two grand. Eventually, this will die... D oh. Oh, dear. Well, I'll get you connected anyway. Uh, eventually, this traffic will die down. It won't be there forever. So I don't want to upgrade too many planes on this route. Because once this event is over, then I'm going to have a very, very small demand route with some of the biggest planes on it. Maybe I'll upgrade this one a bit more as well. Right, is it taking the edge off of Babaco right now? <laughs> I can spend somebody upgraded it, but hey ho. Right, new airport. Get you over. Oh my, this is not looking good over here. Right? We're on our last legs over here. It's actually coming down. I think the demand is now kind of creeping away slowly. Right, sweet. I can then focus on the rest of the upgrades. So I think it's only time, well, a matter of time right now, which we get Bulgaria unlocked. And we'll bring you to here. And then how much for Greece? Just under 15,000. Once I've done Greece, 
we'll go in and start buying a completely different area altogether. I don't know why, but I'm thinking Australia. But to get to Australia is going to be one hell of a journey. So another city set up. There is so many in Turkey right now. The whole world is celebrating New Year. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's now New Year's. And we're just going to get so many passengers on every single route right now. This is where I start crying. I mean, I was crying already, but this is where I seriously start crying. Oh, which is going to be the first city, the first country to kind of get overloaded and then go, Sadiac, help me! I don't know. I don't know right now, and it is quite a worry. I'll unlock Greece amidst the chaos and mayhem. And we'll go straight to Ankara over there, and then we'll also bring one straight into Rome once I can afford it. So what just unlocked... Was it another Turkish one? Aha! Right, too far. I'll bring you to here. Alright, let's see how long until that overloads. Oh dear God. What have I done? What have I done right now? I don't know. But Europe's looking pretty good, right? It is looking pretty good. Now, if I was to go to Australia, I would have to do my connection obviously from Abu Dhabi that would be the main one to begin with but do you reckon I should first go to South Africa and then have two connections going into Australia which will kind of aid it all what did I just unlock aha here to Athens boy right sort this plane out now, what I'm thinking is, right, because I know going from Abu Dhabi right now to Australia, there will mainly be the European passengers. If I set one in South Africa, I'm hoping then that will be the Americans coming down to the Caribbean, to the west of Africa, down to the south of Africa, into Australia. That's what I'm hoping. If I can get a connection, maybe a setup in Brazil, I can bring them straight from the Caribbean down to Brazil, South Africa, Australia. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. Whether or not that works is, again, a completely different story. Um, okay, I bring you straight into there. I still don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So if I want to go down that route, I'm going to have to set up South Africa first, right? 15,000 at this point, and we've got Cape Town unlocked, okay? Cape Town unlocked. And, oh, oh, hello. Where did you come from? How did I miss you? There we go. Um, right. Is there passengers already building up on it? Yes, there is. I do need to get Brazil hooked up. So I think what I'll do is I'll first bring it from the east side of Af 11,000. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. That'll be our first connection just to get people over here. Uh, well, just six recommends you upgrade all the first level airports of their low capacity. We can yes. It only cost me one fifty. Nice. Right, what was this again? <clears throat> Eleven thousand. Right, this is gonna be right now. I know last episode we bought the most amount of countries, but this episode is gonna be the biggest infrastructure that we have ever paid out and built so far. So if I get you connected. So for now, that's pretty decent. I need 2,400 to get that up and running. Now, obviously, we're going to overload this route from the get-go. That's just what is going to happen, unfortunately. We've got one plane on it. Lots of people already kind of low-key waiting. Get Johannesburg all connected up. Get you... Oh, 2,400. That's the problem right now. It just gets so much more expensive as time goes on. Get you connected up right now. Cape Town's already overloaded, but... It's fairly cheap to upgrade and use Cape Town as a big hub right now to store all the passengers as more and more planes come over. That plane's coming right now, which obviously won't have that many people or have the ability to transport that many people. But now it does, so I can take a big bulk of the uh, the travelers right now, which would be good for us. Airport almost full. Oh, where did you come from? Right, get into Rome. How dare you? 
have passengers. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right, Port Elizabeth, another South African airport getting connected. Luxembourg government gave you a grant. Yes, the airport level increased. So while that might be somewhat slightly manageable for now, I say that as this plane comes back fully loaded, we'll get another plane on it. Fully upgrade that, which Cape Town is, is almost full again. All right, don't worry. There's a plane coming in to take the edge off. All right, Cape Town, upgrade you. There we go. Higher the capacities. All right, upgrade that plane because there's a little bit of demand on that. So that will help. And two major planes on this route. There's a lot of people waiting on this. Right. We might need to focus on first adding maximum planes to this. That plane's maximum level. Which is not maximum level. This one. Right. There we go. That will help us out. And then I'll buy two more. Get these done. Wait for that 1600. Bam. And then there's one more plane to get done on this this route. So we'll get this fully upgraded. And then obviously that it is going to be a major route, a major line, this one. So I do ha have to eventually at some point get all five planes fully upgraded. So we'll just do it now then. Well, this, you know, the country is slightly suffering. And where are you? Oh my goodness me. More. More routes, boys. We need more routes. Uh, recommend that we donate to charity. They think it can improve our reputation and increase the number of passengers. No. I've already got enough as it is. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Um, right, K-Town's getting overloaded again. It only sends a lot of passengers over this way, doesn't it? So upgrade that plane a little bit. And that will take a few, a fair few back right now. You can carry up to 300 passengers. So that will take a big chunk of people off. There we go. Right, I'll get them to the maximums right now, just because. Right, you're going straight to Berlin. A couple of red planes around there. I don't like the sign of red planes. Right, have we got this place locked off right now? Is it looking kind of okay? I think it is. So then we'll focus on our Brazilian connection. Then once I've got the Brazilian connection all up and running, I will do a, a connection from Cape Town up to Abu Dhabi as well. Uh, but once I've got that connected, I then have technically the Americans can come down to Brazil to Cape Town. I then have multiple routes to take directly over to Australia, which means I'm not completely overloading the, the routes to that country. <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes. Right, it would be nice if I can get an additional plane on that route between Abu Dhabi and Riada. Is that how you pronounce it? I fully upgrade it because I can see there being a big bulk as I'm starting to bring more and more planes to that city. So to unlock Brazil then, 16,000. And then I'm going to need a ton of money to kind of then start building the routes because it's so far away. But what it does, uh, it's the same with um, unlocking South Africa. Like everywhere up to probably to uh, the Congo, uh, to Kenya. This line there, they're all coming down. Everything here probably go up to like a more centralized one or maybe over to the east or east. I keep calling that east. It's west, Sediac. It's west. Also, we just unlocked another airport, I think. And I don't know where it appeared. Because, again, I wasn't paying attention, but we just found it. Nice. Um. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, Brazil. Unlock, ya boy. So, straight away, I want to go from from here i don't even know what place that is straight to the puerto rico because we turn puerto rico into the hub oh brasilia just no it's not is it puerto rico yeah it is sorry yeah yeah nice and then sao paulo to brasilia 
So I'm going to connect this over to Cape Town. That will take some edge off this route. I'll also connect it directly over to the west. There we go. West side of Africa right now. And then everyone's intertwined and connected. Which will be pretty good. But again, it all comes down to, to money. Money, at the minute, your boy does nothing to have. Now, at the minute, there's no demands for these routes. Because all the passengers haven't got to the main hubs just yet. So... We've got to keep an eye on it. It's easier to upgrade the, the airport to hold the capacity first before starting to buy all the planes for it. So again, we just kind of slightly hold out for just a minute. Another airport. There we go. But again, it seems long-winded, but then it unlocks the whole of South America can be bought directly to the Brasilia airport. Because that will be the connection or the airport that goes through many different routes. So it all works out for, out for us. We're just going to initially build these hubs before we add more routes on the line now if i was to go directly up to over here at ten thousand seven hundred all right we'll go up to here first uh, so ten thousand seven hundred come on boys we're almost there with the money we're almost there with the money right now there we go nice so then planes are going to be overloaded but like i said I should have the capacity to hold this up right now. Rio de Janeiro. Nice. And um, there's a contest. No, I will not enter it. it Cost me too much cash. 13,600 to get that airport up and running. And then once I've got that, we'll then probably start thinking about focusing on getting more and more planes on the routes all set up. So Brasilia right now, it's got more people. Actually, do you know what? It's got people wanting to go everywhere. There's no Pacific demand in one direction. So up the capacity up to a thousand, then just to kind of uphold it. And I'll buy the five planes. Ooh. So San Paolo, the one to go right down right now. I get the planes full, so at least it's taking some people. And then this is where, because so many people want to go to San Paolo right now, because that was originally the only connection to get down here. That's where we then slowly start to upgrade a plane at a time. That'll take 600 capacity straight out of that airport on the way back, which will do its thing. And over here should be the same. Yeah, you're starting to build up too. So grab one plane, fully upgrade it, and that'll take out 600 passengers from the get-go. There we go. So, Brasilia Airport again, building it up. <clears throat> San Paolo's the one, isn't it? Right, we'll bring the people. Oh, I, I thought I was upgrading the plane. I didn't. <laughs> Salvador's next, guys. There we go. I thought I was upgrading a plane, not buying more planes. So, how we did over here then? So, San Paolo, it will take the heat off eventually. More and more people, passengers will come off it. How many of them plane hold? They hold up to 50. So that's like, you know, 250 a time. It's not amazing. I'll upgrade one for completely. So the Brasilia airport should see better days. It really should. Okay, what airports are now being overloaded right now? Still the Brasilia airport. Which the edge is slowly coming off that. Oh, we got two up here, they didn't realize. And I can't afford to connect them. I could go there. But how much demands would we see then? Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> Where I care at the minute. You is 3,300. Right, come on, guys. I need that cash coming in. Come on. 3,300. What are we waiting for right now? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Why is it taking so long, this one? So, Brasilia again, then. Ooh, where's that one? It's this place here, though, isn't it? We've got quite a bit of demand. So, where's that next... Oh, where's that next airport that's just popped up? Oh, it's right down there. That's going to be even more expensive to get it connected. Again, I've got to get them all, and I want them all to get towards Brasilia. 
this might be my my most difficult one to date right now. So I'm gonna have to upgrade it one more time just to kind of hold the passengers. Expensive planes, that's why I can't afford to do anything just yet. Rio is, oh, it, it says it's struggling. It wasn't struggling that bad. <clears throat> and where's that next airport? Down here. So I could lead like this. And then bring that next one up. I could bring it to San Paolo, to be honest with you. That'll save a little bit of a headache. Because there's lots of planes going towards San Paolo right now. It's like four. It's like double the price right now to upgrade a plane. Damn, son. You're killing me. All right, number 50 odd seconds to go. So how many has he got waiting there? It's not really that much waiting. That one plane could do it. Oh, no. 3,800. Uh, oh, Germany increased their passengers by three right now, which is going to see a lot of money slowly creeping out my bank account as I then slowly start upgrading more and more stuff. All right, that's seeing... Um, all right, I'll upgrade you. All right, the plane thing is now done. There we go. Let's upgrade the plane. I'll do one more upgrade here. That'll help us out just there. So the majority of the passengers still want to, or want to go to Rio de Janeiro still. Which that plane can take now currently 300 at go. So it's probably cheaper to bring you that way. As that plane is such a higher capacity. Um, oh, Berlin's now overloaded. Oh my goodness me, Berlin is overloaded. They all want to go to Cologne. Where's Cologne? Cologne! There you are. Upgrade the plane. Take 500 people. It will be able to take a whole lot more in just a second. I'm losing 30% because of the airport's overloaded. There we go. So another new airport has now just opened up. 4,000 people. It will drop down as more and more planes come in and out. And then bring it down. Oh, dear God. I haven't got the money to do this. Why is it now so it's a struggle to get the cash? It's probably because stuff is becoming so much more expensive. Um, so Berlin. Munich is now the one. But again, there's a decent sized plane on that. I'll upgrade it as well. It's like triple the capacity now. And that will really, really start to reduce the backlog in Berlin. So it'll take a minute or two, but we'll eventually get there. Or is it just going up and up and up? Where's that Munich plane? There we go. Oh my god! <laughs> you blocked Kiev! <laughs> How long's it blocked for another minute and you'd literally kill off a whole of my Eastern European flights? Why am I having so much trouble this episode? Oh my goodness me. What is going on? Right, we get you connected at least. It's cheaper to go this way than the other way. So we'll do it like that. Because there's a bigger plane going from that place to Brasilia right now. So 2,500 is, is what I need next. I can't believe what is happening today. I just... An aircraft manufacturer successfully tested a new supersonic jet. They want to give us as a gift a partnership between Dakar and Manjul. If that's how you say it. From Dakar... Literally, back and forth here. The world's worst... I mean, the world's best planes put on the world's worst journey. Right, at least those guys are connected. 
oh, there's a couple here. Go this direction. It's best for everybody if you go that way. And then 300 to go in that direction. Look, I'm suffering, guys, okay? I'm suffering big time. It's it, it's quite bad at the minute. Right, has any more airports popped up that I don't know about? I'm losing 30% by not um, having all this up and running. Well, we'll get those connected just there. That's becoming overloaded. Oh my goodness me. Please, please, just, just call it a day. Right, Kiev's back up and running. We're not overloading no more. Berlin's all good. Rome is taking a beating. But it's all planes going to Munich, and that's all because of the demand we just recently had from that o October fest that just came through. I think we're okay. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I gotta upgrade the planes between these routes because I couldn't afford to make it go any other direction. Oh no, I don't want to sell the plane. Uh, Brasilia right now to Bello, which is over here. No. Upgrade the plane. Upgrade you. It's all happening. It's all happening right now. Dear God, it is all happening right now. Another one. All right, how many people want to go to South America? Quite a few, so it's still a case of upgrading those planes go heading that way. It'll be the same for these ones as well. Bulking up that connection. Another one. Right, are we going to connect to South Africa so I can go to Australia? I, I need to do this. The more I'm spending, the more it's costing me, the more it's up in the price to get that connection from Brazil to South Africa. Rio de Janeiro in Sao Paulo. Okay, so we do need to upgrade these planes. There's no ifs and buts about it. Alright, 1600. Come on, there we go. So that would take a nice chunk of passengers out of West Africa right now. As all these planes come in hot and heavy. Where have you? Oh my goodness me. Alright, straight down to there. In San Juan, passion increased. Isn't that this one over here? Yeah, in Puerto Rico. Great. <laughs> Great. Oh no. What have we done? What have we done? Alright, get you upgraded. So, it's just two planes that are not fully upgraded on this route. And the last one. So, there is double check this route over here. All planes on that route should be fully upgraded. Yeah. Now, we want to take the edge off then. So, by connecting there to there, it takes the edge off of people going up this way to come back down. But there's just more and more airports that want to be connected. If I get you connected as well. And we got a nice little route down on that one side. Brasilia is going to all want to go to uh, to Rio de Janeiro right now. So again, São Paulo, we'll get a connection there. You to there, and then do I go directly up here? Yeah. So I, I think I've got to sort Brazil out first, then before I can make this type of connection. Just so passengers are heading on different ways right now. So they haven't all got to take the same plane. In that sense, and it hasn't all got to go to Brasilia right now. All right, we've got an overcrowded airport somewhere. Oh, of course we have. Of course, it's in Brazil. You just popped up out of nowhere. Tis never ending. Tis never ending. But I think we might be... Oh, Madrid is almost full. Oh, right, where is it all to go? It's to go to that San Juan place, isn't it? Yeah. Which... Oh, there's room for one more plane. I do apologize. 
But I've always got enough money to get this connection set up, guys. Come on. How much was it? 13,600. There we go. We've got it. I've got the route. So just give the game a minute or two right now to understand and realize it can now make different types of connections going in different directions. But Madrid's feeling it. But I've got the extra plane on it right now. It's because of that event going on. Has that event stopped right now? Yeah. So the tail and the passengers will eventually just disperse. Campo Grande. There we go. So I've got to fully upgrade this route. So get the planes on it first. Because some people might choose to come down here to go that way. Before we send them over from there. And bring them down from here. Them routes are going to be so expensive. So expensive. But I've got to get Australia underway. We just have to. Ooh, another one. We'll bring you to San Paolo. It's cheaper to do so. Uh, want to give us a gift from London to Rome. Yes! London to Rome, there's a new plane on board. London to Rome. They give us this. I'm surprised we haven't got any other ones. What's Rome saying these days? To Munich still? Where are they going? They're going straight to Berlin on this one, aren't they? Rome to Berlin. At least upgrade that a few times. So where's this next overloaded airport then? I don't know. But let's sort out these planes. Right, next one. Londrina? I don't know where that place is. Right, there's two more planes to do. There we go. So... Uh, Brasilia to Cape Town, fully done, fully upgraded. So we'll bring you to San Paulo. I'll upgrade San Paulo a few times for that demand. Get the plane between Brasilia to San Paulo upgraded as well. I just sold a plane, I didn't mean to. But that's okay, because we can upgrade all these anyway. Upgrade dual capacity. Brasilia. You'll be okay for just a minute. You upgrade. You upgrade. I'm actually going to bring you down to here. To there. To there. I'm creating a couple more little rings. So everyone's more connected in Brazil right now. Yeah. So to buy Australia, 17,000. But it's something I've been wanting to do now, this whole episode. So we've got to we've got to commit to it. We've got a low key commit to it right now. A couple of upgrades here and there. Get you upgraded. Another one. So many airports and planes in Brazil, but it is a huge country, which scares me for Australia, but it scares me even more for China, and even more then for Russia. That are going to be some beautiful upgrades coming in. So, this is going to be so interesting getting this connection. I mean, 17,000, yes, to unlock Australia, but how much to get a connection going directly across? Whew, damn. So, like I said, from South uh, Africa... To Australia will be everybody from like Brazil, maybe Amer I'm hoping from America too. I'll either come directly over to over here, down and across, and then the Abu Dhabi connection in the United Arab Emirates will be everybody who's coming from Europe. That's at least what you want to think, right? So sea traffic increased. Oh, new airport. We're back on it. We're currently back on it. So I wonder, it's going to be either Sydney or Melbourne, I reckon. But coming in that direction, 20 grand. <laughs> Yikes! So shall I get an unlock Australia right now? Yeah, and it is, oh, Canberra, of course, yeah. Probably, <coughs> probably the most forgotten capital city in the world. Because everyone thinks it's Sydney, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> I forgot about that. Even I forgot about it. 
So I can't do nothing yet. I can connect Sydney up. That's about it. But what's going to be cheaper for us? 24,004. 22,000. Okay. That is the route we're going for to begin with. So it means everyone's going to be leading straight down to South Africa. It would have been an idea as well to get a connection from South, well, from Cape Town to Abu Dhabi as well. Oh, this is going to be a pain, this place. I, I just know it. I just know it. I know it's going to be a huge pain. We got 18,000 on like a tiny country that's only going to have one airport. Melbourne. There we go. Airport almost full. No, I'm not going to participate. What's full? Oh, Berlin. Back to Munich again. I upgrade you. Got a couple of upgraded planes on that Munich run. I feel like Munich needs to be connected in other ways, doesn't it? Oh, do I go straight to Rome or do I just save my money? Let's just save my money. I'm hoping them two planes can kind of solve it. Munich, 3,200. Goes down to 2,100. Brisbane's next. Yeah, we're working on it. Right, straight to Sydney. Just make things a little bit easier for us. <clears throat> so they want to go everywhere. It's going to be painful. It's going to be painful to get this all set up. So they're going to be screaming out for passengers very soon. So <sighs> it's about to happen. We're close. We're close, but the pain and stress that we had... Oh, in Newcastle. The pain and stress we just had... Right, let's get to Canberra. Because that's where the hub's going to be. Yeah, so the pain and stress that we had in Brazil is what we're now going to experience in Australia. And a connection directly there to the capital. Done, mate. Done. <clears throat> Which everyone is going to want to get over to here right now. So if I upgrade you a couple of times to store up to a thousand passengers, and then the plane coming over, where is it? If I fully upgraded that, oh, a plane's doubled the price. Oh dear God, they doubled the price, but I've got no choice, have I? I've got no choice. All right, San Paulo. Is a better option for us. So Johannesburg needed a little bit of an upgrade there. So 500 passengers. Picks them all up. Good stuff. Off it goes back. Yikes. Alright. Give all the planes in Australia. Just at least one level of upgrade. There we go, Sydney to Brisbane. <clears throat> oh, Perth. Good old Perth, guys. There we go. I fully upgraded the Perth one because I know that is the longest flight out of all of them right now. We're going to need it. <clears throat> so, next couple of planes then on this route. As we slowly start to upgrade this. Bringing more peeps over. And Canberra right now. Still looking okay. I mean, that first plane coming in will just take the whole capacity. <clears throat> but I don't feel like we're kind of suffering from the South American, the Brazilian panic that we once had. 
Maybe because it's kind of just so far out there right now. Or maybe because I've already created all these like good little decent connections that kind of link us up and over a whole lot easier. I don't know. I don't know. But then again, Cape Town. It's a Johannesburg one. I mean, it's got a lot of people. I mean, it picks them up straight away, so there's not really any issues. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, are we going to see lots of demand? We're going to see lots of demands heading over in this direction. Another airport. Where are you? Right, straight to Brasilia. Thank you for connecting us. Oh, to give us free grand. Nice. Oh, which actually might give us the money now to go from Abu Dhabi straight down to Canberra. Uh, 24,000. This is the closest I've got to it so far, so we might as well do it now. 24,400. Coming in hot and heavy. Nice. Multiple connections. It's almost like an actual real life connection. <laughs> if that connection was in Dubai, so the Abu Dhabi. Um, so, yeah, it's going to cost us a fortune to get a bunch of planes on this, but I fully upgrade you first. And sort of the demands spike high. But, like the London, the Istanbul, the Paris, those passengers are going to be going straight to Abu Dhabi right now. It just makes more sense for those guys going in that direction. Oh, there's an airport overfilled right now. Well, I'll upgrade it. Because it is a hub. Another one's been overfilled, the Dubai one? Really? Alright, upgrade the plane. Oh, wait, hold on. I've sent them to Dubai, not Abu Dhabi. Oh, this is probably going to cause me issues. Well, that's just caused me tons of issues, hasn't it? <laughs> that's just caused me tons of issues. But the plane journey should be so minimal that it should pass everybody through a whole lot easier. In reality, yeah. Once I've got money, I'll probably redo that route. But that's going to cost a fortune. Oh, that's the problem when you zoom out when you're trying to do routes. Right, upgrade you for the capacity. Oh. I'm in Spain, guys, but the S, the S is definitely silent right now. Right, straight over. <laughs> but we're doing good, though, because... Think about it logically right now. We've got the bottom of Africa, a hub. It means everything around it can be connected to it, and then off it goes in the directions. Same for the whole of South America right now. It can be connected to Brasilia, which then goes off in the many, many different directions. To Naples is the big one here. Let me quickly sort this out. Getting back and forth, relieving that demand. So, Australia the same right now. You know, the bunch of islands and around it connecting straight to it. So, we got these generalized main hubs that we can get people going to and from. There will be many, many other little hubs as well that we do get set up. There will be many of them. You know, it's not going to be the only one in South America or the only one in Africa or the only one around here. We'll probably do one like around India or like Thailand or something like that. Another little connection. But... It gives us a game plan and a good way to connect stuff up. So now I've spent the, the the money and the time in upgrading the Cape Town route, which eventually I've had all the planes on it fully upgraded too. I ain't got to worry about a bunch of these countries around. They can all lead straight down into Cape Town. We'll do a couple of little ring routes that connect the individual countries up themselves anyway. But transatlantic going to the big destinations will be super duper easy for us. Madrid is getting now overloaded. But um, as we add more flights, we then start to see our original destinations becoming so overloaded. It, it's fun and chaotic and stressful at the same time. There's a lot of places here I haven't even got connected. I can't believe how many is in, 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 uh, in Turkey right now, how many uh, cities I can get connected. It's crazy. 
But we're going to end it for here anyway, guys. We will end it for here. Who knows what is about to happen in the next coming episodes. But if you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button down below. And until next time, I will see you all soon. So good. Bye.